Duke is one of the greatest, if not the greatest, college basketball programs in the world. There are those who believe otherwise, none more than those Chapel Hill-loving Tar Heels. My objective is to prove that indeed Duke is the best college basketball program because the principles of economics back up that notion. I'm going to take a look at five principles of economics that a high school basketball star should take into consideration before signing to play for Coach K and the opportunity to play at one of the most famous sports arenas, Cameron Indoor Stadium. These five economic principles can affect a high school athlete in different ways, but focusing on one student allows for a better understanding of how economics is a factor for the decision-making process for high school athletes. First, let me start by introducing a young man who will be graduating from high school in 2010. Joshua Harrison is a junior from Sportsylvania, Virginia, who is verbally committed to Duke and will be accepting their offer to play. Let's take a look at Joshua's decision. First, let's start with one of the biggest economic principles, opportunity cost. What you give up to get what you want. In Joshua's case, his opportunity cost is simply going to, ha to be having to leave the comfort of home and familiar surrounding and have to be on his own at Duke. Another thing he will be giving up is the opportunity to play in front of hometown fans. Joshua, although he will be giving those up, he will be strengthening his basketball stock by playing for Duke. This economic principle is not the only one that can be applied to Joshua's case. People respond to incentives. This economic principle is simple. An incentive is something that induces a person to act. Joshua Harrison's incentive to accept Duke's offer is the scholarship they will reward him with. Now, while it's uncertain the amount, it still remains incentive for him to go play at Duke and have his college paid for, therefore keeping him out of college debt. Some people disagree that athletes should receive incentives to play for their schools and believe that athletes should be treated like every other student. Let's be realistic. Incentives are what get the best of the best to play at schools like Duke University and the University of Kansas. Those incentives in turn create incentives for the university because that athlete brings along with him or her publicity to said university. Joshua is a rational person and rational people think at the margin. The definition of a rational person is someone who systematically and purposely does the best they can to achieve their objectives. In Joshua's case, his rationale to commit to Duke is simply that he has family in North Carolina, so there is some sense of familiarity there. The second thing, like he said in an interview with the Star Exponent, it's Coach K who wouldn't want to play for him. Joshua understands that Coach K could eventually help him further his basketball career beyond college and into the NBA. So his thinking is that no matter if he does not start right away, he will be developing in his earlier years at Duke. Him possibly being redshirted would be that margin he, that he is thinking at. But still, he is rational because he understands that things may occur that put a kink in his plans, but he has made the rational decision. Another principle that will affect Joshua's decision is trade. The cost of tuition for Duke is $50,750 per year. The cost of scholarship can range from full tuition or part tuition, and at Duke you can achieve merit-based scholarships and or need-based. In Harrison's case, he would be receiving either full ride or half based on his merit as an athlete and student. In his situation, the benefits outweigh the cost. All he is giving up is the time he has to spend traveling home for the holidays and the money he will have to spend on gas or plane ticket. But the overall benefits of having college paid for outweighs all the cost. Joshua Harrison may be one of the top ranked power forwards in the class of 2010 but he will have to trade something with Duke when he arrives for his freshman year. His item of trade would be his freshman year in exchange for attention from the coaches and their ability to develop him into a better player. He would benefit from this trade-off because it would allow him to become a better player and more effective for the team. Duke's basketball program would benefit because by redshirting him, they could free up scholarship money for that year and put it towards someone else who could also help the team. By developing Harrison, they would be making the overall team more competitive in the toughest basketball conference in the country, the ACC.